you are a great hero to save my son's life. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. A father's first chance to say thank you to the teen hero who saved his eight-year-old son from a burning home. And you saw it first here on K2 as breaking news last night. And tonight, our Patrick Preston was there as the family met face-to-face -face with their rescuer. Patrick, this is a story we can all feel really good about. Oh, you got it, Steve. You got a teen who went up a ladder. He saved an eight year old boy. On top of that, it's a like father, like son situation. His dad went into the burning house, did everything he could to help. And then today, the family hit by that fire, they get a chance to say what might be the most meaningful thank you ever in their lives. The flowers, the car, just saying thank you means everything to the Ma family. Eight year old Cody is alive, thanks to a teen and his father. Neighbors they didn't know until the fire. I've got the fire department on the way. Is everyone oh. is everyone out of the house? No, my son's inside a room. Okay, can you get your son out? Yeah, we tried to, but he locked the door. He won't open it. Seconds seemed like minutes until 14-year-old Marco Sugarte grabbed a ladder, broke out a window screen, and got Cody out. I just told him to go feet first, and then he he like walked down the ladder, but I had my arm around him, so he was secure. And this is in the child's bedroom. Today, Battalion Chief Mark Maunders showed us the second floor. This is actually where the fire started. The fire began in Cody's room and then spread to the attic. This line on the wall marks where thick black smoke and superheated gases filled the air. And this room was where Cody ran to. He locked the door, keeping the smoke out, as well as his dad and Marcos's father, Eduardo. They pounded and they kicked as long as they could until they had to get out. And I saw Cody and that little boy coming down. Thanks, God. Now with their son safe, the Ma's are about to show their gratitude to his rescuer. Hi. 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 Thank you for Thank you for saving, saving my son's life You're last night. You're welcome. And to Marcos's father, Eduardo. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Cody's quite shy about his escape. Cody, how you feel? Good. But from now on, he and his family will always be linked with their neighbors. Do you think you'll ever forget their name? Their name? Well, I will never forget their name anymore because they are my hero. They are my son hero forever. And investigators believe that the fire was accidental. They still have not pinpointed a cause. Marcus Ugarte says he's getting a lot of congratulations from fellow students at Gresham High School. And we know that the Gresham Fire and Rescue, they plan to honor him for his heroism later this year. Reporting live in Troutdale, Patrick Preston, K2 News. I'm sure that whole neighborhood knows Marcos now. Uh, Patrick, thank you for that. You can see more of the teen hero and his family. They'll be in Good Morning America tomorrow morning starting at 7 a.m.